Hey everyone. Well, it's May 9th. And who would have thought that I'd still be dealing with winter and freezing conditions? This really sucks. I'm ready for winter to be over. But anyways, today I was planning on making a video about how my chicken watering system has worked out for me. But I woke up this morning and it is 25 degrees without the wind and 15 degrees with the wind chill. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. And it is frozen. I'll talk about it for a second, but it is cold and windy out here and I might wait for a better day to finish this video. But in a nutshell, I have my rainwater collection barrel here and I have my hose right here. And that goes over here to the PVC pipe where I have the chicken nipple water things. And I do also have heat tape that is run with the hose. Oh man, it's cold, gust of wind, hopefully you can hear me. The heat tape kept the water from freezing. I actually have a valve, which again, I'll show you what is warmer. I have a, a valve uh, right over there. You can see the red valve right there. Oh man, that sucks. All right, I'm gonna go inside. I'll talk about it inside. Burr, God. So I have the valve out there and I open the valve and water does flow. So I do know the heat tape is working. However, the chicken nipples, which is just so funny, but that's what they call it. The chicken nipples are frozen solid. So I'm gonna have to go out and get some more pipe wrap insulation. I just wrapped that hose that you saw with what I had laying around in the garage, but I don't have any that's large enough for the one and a half inch PVC pipe that I used where the chicken nipple waters are. So I'll have to go out and get some of that this morning and hopefully that does it. I know a lot of people use setups like this. I got this idea from other YouTubers. So hopefully this works and hopefully the chicken nipples don't, oh, don't always freeze over, but we'll see. Hopefully the insulation helps. That's it for now. I am freezing. My hands are so cold from just being out there taping. I'm just so done with winter. I can't believe this is May 9th and we're still dealing with this crap. I have chickens right here that want to go out badly. So I have some on this side right here that are about three weeks old. Then I have some on this side that are about a month and a half old. And I have a little divider that I made right here so they can see each other. I just put them together yesterday or maybe two days ago for the first time. So at least now they can see each other, hopefully get used to each other, even though they're different ages. They're dying to get outside and this winter needs to end. But I'm going to wrap up this video on a different day. <laughs> I just wanted to also take a minute and show you guys how I made the threads for the chicken nipples. I should have filmed all this, but I've said this in other videos. Because of COVID-19, I've been watching my son, so I don't have a whole lot of time to set up the camera and do all that stuff. I'm usually just cranking along when I have a spare few minutes. But I'll go back now and show you guys what I did. So this is just an extra section of one and a half inch PVC pipe that I had laying around. And the chicken nipples are 10 by one. And what this is, is just a, a thread checker that I had laying around. I bought this on Amazon. I used this to check the threads on the chicken nipples. So they are plastic. And if you just try to thread them right into here after drilling the hole with the drill bit, they will just be garbage. <laughs> they're not gonna catch and they're not gonna go through this PVC plastic. So what I did is use this thread checker to create threads in here after I drilled the hole. In the packaging, I'm pretty sure it said what size hole to drill for the chicken nipples. I don't have the packaging anymore, so unfortunately I can't tell you exactly which drill bit, but I'm pretty sure it said right on the packaging. If not, just take your drill bit set, compare it up and see what looks like it's gonna work. So I use this, and the reason I use this is because unfortunately it is very hard to find a 10-1 of any kind. I thought I'd just go to the hardware store, I'd buy one, and I would use that to thread in. Unfortunately, that just didn't work out. I saw some bolts online, but they were like five bucks for a bolt. So that's why I just ended up using this. But what you could also do is use a 10-1.25 bolt. Now I saw those all over the place. The threading is different. It's a more coarse thread. I don't know if you can see the difference here. This is more fine. This is the 10-1 and this is the 10-125. So I used this one for the first chicken nibble by mistake. The threading is different, but it was close enough that it did actually thread in. For the last three, I used this one, and I think they threaded in a little bit better. But if you don't have one of these, you can't find the 10-1 bolt, then I, I think you can use the 10.125. 
And this is the paste that I used to seal it. I was gonna use thread tape as well, but I didn't really need to. This pipe dope was just fine. Another thing I'll mention before I end this little segment is that I had them 10 inches apart. I couldn't find any recommendations online, so I really wasn't sure how close together they should or shouldn't be. I just guessed 10 inches. I think you can go closer. I think eight definitely would still be fine. I think it kind of depends on the breed and how many you have. I could have fit a few more chicken waters in my whole pipe, in my whole system, but I went with 10 inches and I think that's going to be fine. So hopefully this helps clarify the process. Sorry I didn't film it. I was just cranking along and I didn't have time to set up the camera. But now I'll continue on with the rest of the video. Well, I think I have a really good solution here. I picked up some of this one inch copper pipe insulation. It's not quite big enough for the one and a half inch pipe that I used, but it'll be good enough. And if you watch my channel, you know that we deal with a lot of winter and a lot of cold weather. I really think it was necessary. Unfortunately, none of this was really that cheap, but I would do it all over again, as long as it works. I'll find out if it continues to be cold and snowy here. But just this insulation alone, this eight foot piece was like nine bucks. And then I had the PVC pipe already, luckily. I mean, the PVC pipe really wouldn't have been one of the expensive parts anyway. Probably, man, I haven't priced it in a little while. 10 bucks for an eight foot piece. I don't know, something like that. And you can get by without this valve right here. This is a threaded valve on this end. I wanted this here just in case I ever wanted to bring water somewhere else. It's also nice because I can just turn this and I can fill any water I have over here. So I imagine in the winter, I'm probably gonna have to keep some water inside the coop for them and it'll be nice that I can just fill it right here. The chicken nipples, <laughs> uh, these guys, it was they were, they were really cheap. They were probably the cheapest part of all of this. Those were only three fifty dollars for a four pack from my local feed store. So those really weren't bad at all. You can get more, but I think four watering nipples for what I will have eventually is 10 chickens. I think that'll be fine. Uh, looks like they're dripping a little bit. They've actually have been great. I've read a lot of reviews that people complain that they drip, but whatever, it doesn't really bother me because it's all free water. It's rainwater from the barrel I showed you before. I do hope they stop dripping though. I worry though, though, because these were frozen solid and I did just have to poke them to get them through this insulation. Oh, the insulation, by the way, because it wasn't big enough to go all the way around, I just put it on the bottom side here and that's where the tape is anyway. So the tape is just actually going back and forth around the chicken nipples, <laughs> the chicken watering nipple thingies. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna trap the heat in there. Hopefully keep these guys from freezing up. Oh, and I wanna talk about height because I really wasn't sure how high to mount this. And I was doing some searching online and nothing was really super clear. Uh, but one person said that it should be tall enough that the chicken has to stretch to reach to it. So it could be a little different based on the breed that you have, but my, Felders, if I'm saying that right, uh, I'm guessing are around 20 inches tall. I'm looking at one right over there. We're letting them free range around the property. So I set this, I believe, oh man, I forget. Do I have a tape measure? Oh, I do. I think it was at like 22 inches. Let me try. All right. So let's see here. Yeah. So this wood is at 22 and a half inches. So the nipple is at 20 inches. So I figured that was gonna be fine for these guys. And it has been. Uh, luckily they took right to it. I didn't have to do any training or put anything on there to attract them to it. Uh, thankfully they went right to it, which was absolutely awesome. He's getting the water. That's awesome. Or she, <laughs> she's getting the water. So success. And as long as one of them sees the other one doing it, they're all gonna know. Problem solved. But I think this watering system is gonna be awesome. It's gonna make it so much easier uh, for me to handle and deal with. I mean, the last thing anybody really wants is to create more work for themselves, but I think this is gonna be good and help alleviate some of the work I'll have to do later. Quick update and then I'll let you guys go. But these don't seem to be leaking anymore. There's a little water on this one. That's only because I just touched it but I don't really have a problem with these leaking like some people have claimed. They seem really good. I just thought I would update you guys, let you know it's not really a constant problem that these things drip because they, they usually don't unless you touch them. And in that last clip I just installed, 
this insulation. So that's, I think, the only reason why they were dripping a little bit. I also don't think I mentioned in the last video uh, about all the fittings that I had to purchase. Obviously now they're all covered up, but they're all pretty much right here. And just having to adapt the hose to the PVC, it just, it took like, three or four different fittings unfortunately in here and i think those equaled probably around 15 20 bucks or something so just be prepared for that but i love it oh who came in here hi caleb how are you doing <laughs> all right i think that's it for real this time have a great day guys